sometimes I feel like, or in the past, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, happy uh, in this relationship for the time being at least, but I, I felt, I almost feel in the past that um, it almost like has kept me working and kept me curious and to not have that kind of partnership. Um, I almost feel like some, some force, is, some spiritual force is keeping me from, from that kind of uh, state of grace that, that you described. Mm. And tell me, how you started? What, what was your first searching? Why, why you start to... Because you are broken the, the normal uh, definition of rational, mm -hmm. or the rational, mm -hmm. no? You are going deep into mm -hmm. Jung and all the, mm -hmm. all the opening, no? Of the mind. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, it started, I had a uh, real deep uh, kind of existential crisis uh, in my late 20s. Uh, I was working in New York City, I was writing for magazines as a journalist, and it all just seemed totally uh, empty, and I felt like uh, there was no, no ground, you know, it just seemed, because I came out of a sp sort of a skeptical, you know, materialist mm -hmm. background. My father was an abstract uh, painter, uh, and he never really wanted to have a child. Uh, she, my mother got pregnant, she really wanted to have a child, and so she did it, and, and he was never really able to, uh, to commit to, to that responsibility, because it wasn't really something that he had wanted. And then you, you was more in a union with your mother, Yeah. and your lack of father. What was the name of your father? Uh, Peter Pinchbeck. Peter, is your mother? Uh, Joyce Johnson. Yes. Yeah. 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 And she was also, she was from a, the cultural background, uh, she was a writer, she's a writer still. And uh, she was part of the, the Beat generation. Yeah, yeah. She was involved with uh, Jack Kerouac oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. in the late 50s. Uh, she was with him when On the Road came out. Mm -hmm. um, so somehow I think that this uh, deep kind of um, cultural ambition you know, towards you know, creative transformation like, came, came from both of them maybe, but, but you know, especially maybe from, from her. You know, there was some kind of uh, anticipation you know, or something. Yeah. And, and then in the, in the media world that I was in, I just felt that there was, it was a, a dead world, really. So I had to kind of stop the career I was in and, and, and reassess. And then I remembered my uh, psychedelic uh, experiences that I'd had in college as the only time I'd felt kind of, um, you know, the access to some other form of uh, consciousness. Um, you are speaking about 2012, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm as uh, a possibility of the end of the world. Oh, I would say the end of a world. Uh, a world, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But tell me, if, if, I, I, if we play the game mm -hmm. and we think in, you have three years uh -huh. to go to a new life, you. Uh -huh. Well, I, I, to a certain extent... I, well, what I've will already, change you in three years? Well, to, to a certain extent, I feel like myself and many people that I'm... The, the community that I'm yeah. part of has made a kind of uh, shift already in that um, we've kind of recognized that uh, the limits of, of the modern rational system and, and the capitalist game and have kind of begun to reintegrate this traditional knowledge and, and shamanism. Beyond that, I think we can see that the, the tower you know, of modern civilization is crumbling. Yes. And, and so within this time that's available, I think a, a new, um, you know, model of, of, of society, you know, can be, um, can be constructed and, and, and people can begin to shift into it. But the revolution is not useful now. We cannot make revolution. Well, we have to. We cannot. And then we need to make mutation. Mutation. And then I think naturally the human being will mutate Yeah, from yeah. one day to the other, we'll start to be born different. What yeah, maybe it? not even born. Maybe, And then maybe, go maybe to make something. a child with this girl. Me? Yeah, to see it. Go to make a child. Mm -hmm. Fornication, a child, and we have a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> maybe two or three. <laughs> well, they are tired. Maybe we need to <laughs> go. We need to, to go. we need to go. I don't know where. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> City, I follow you. Ciao! <laughs> yeah, Matusalem, ciao, goodbye! <laughs> well, I have a nice time. I'm no? loving it, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's great to meet you. I'm really, I'm really happy. Uh, we are two, two in a known person. Yeah. We have the pleasure to, to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to sit down for a second and do this. Why do you smoke? Um, I actually started smoking in 2003 in the, uh, when I was in the Amazon, uh, yes. and I just picked it up. Why? You want to live 800 years? No, but on the other hand, the Taoist uh, guy that I know, he smokes like a factory. 
<laughs> Look me, I have 80 years. Uh -huh. I am speaking I, like a normal person. Yeah, yeah. 80 years. And then, be, but I, I think because I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah I, I pretty I, much stop now. Yeah, I don't smoke. Yeah. No, really, even coffee I don't take now. Eh? Because I decide, well, how many years I will live? More, mm -hmm. no? 120 and we'll be happy, yeah. or more. Because when you have 50 years, what, how, you're 40, no? 40, 43. 43. When you come to 50 years, you have a shock. You think you are not any more young and come the, the nervous. When you, you are in 60 years, you think you are out of society. And 70, you think you will never love. It's finished. Well, 80, I am starting. I am starting. I have nothing to lose. No? I didn't want to do this interview in the beginning. Yeah. Because I was tired. They assist me. They assist me. And they say, well, I will do it. But I, I, I did because I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I was not obliged because... But you take fun, yeah. no? Fun. Well, we need to go. Okay. Yeah. La chambre 26, on me dit de demander. Très bien. Merci beaucoup. Et c'est le deuxième étage Deuxième étage. Yeah, merci. Ah. Il faudrait compter combien de rayons il y a, hein 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. C'est 20, 20, non Et vous avez un circle avec un point. Le circle avec un point. In the alchemy, it's the symbol of gold. Mm -hmm. It's the solar, the mm -hmm. solar. And the, the, what I give to you, the calendar, Aztec, no? Mm -hmm. Have 20 symbols mm -hmm. around the circle, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we need to say, in the mind is everything. It's not Aztec. Uh -huh. It's not French. Right. It's not alchemical. Right. It's the mind. Uh -huh. No? Yeah. And the crop circle is the mind. Mm -hmm. Why there? Why this plant? Why not uh, another plant? Well, they use different plants. Why, why not in the sun? Uh, yeah, that's an interesting question. It might go back uh, to um, suggesting something about agriculture and the origin yes. of civilization. Yes. Um, also, um, it might be that uh, they're pointing towards, in the same way that we cultivate uh, crops, yes. uh, we're also being uh, cultivated as uh, spiritual beings. Maybe. Maybe. That is a key or what? I think, uh, let me see. 26. All right, so. Andres and fornicate? <laughs> no? No. <laughs>
I don't see the future. Mm -hmm. huh? Only the present. You can ask it something, mm -hmm. or you cannot ask it nothing. As you want. Mm -hmm. Something. What is the question? Mm. I suppose how to find some level of uh, happiness or contentment in relationships. Happiness in the relationship. In relationships, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three cards. In the... One, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. How to find happiness in the relationship. I really don't know what the tarot will say. I really don't know <laughs> what the question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not bad because it's a, it's a progression. You have 10, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. The principal problem in the relation is the this, 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 this sexuality. Mm -hmm. The principal, I will tell you why if you permit sure. to be a little, Love it, a little intimate. Yeah, yeah, okay. You tell me in the tree, your mother is, uh, was writer, no? Intellectual. Mm -hmm. And then your mother was mother-father with you. Feminine, masculine. Mixer. You understand that? Mm -hmm. okay. Then why you have here the diablo, the, the evil, who have breast, but phallus? No, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of hermaphrodite. Mm -hmm. yeah? The conception you have of the woman is a dominant woman. And that is your fear mm. uh, of a dominant woman. Well, uh, you need some kind of freedom, mm -hmm. eh? and freedom of all kind of imposition, mm -hmm. sexual imposition, mm -hmm. economical imposition, emotional imposition, and mental imposition. Mm -hmm. you, need to, you want to be free, you, you mm -hmm. want a relation, you, you, you are free in one, one, one in your life. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so for, for me, this whole question is, um, and in some way, I think maybe it's, it's also like um, the larger question of the 60s, in a way, kind of leaves to us, which is yes. like, how does one uh, reconcile uh, freedom and responsibility? Because uh, there's this, it's, I mean, it seems to me there's something um, that, that, that there are ways that women and men just desire different things, you know, or maybe it's just me as a man uh, desiring different things than the women that I become uh, intermeshed with, you know. When I see you, Mm -hmm. no? You need to live 20 more years in order to open, open yourself, mm -hmm. your heart. Because uh, I see you, a, a person who is not able in the moment, I can, to, very, to trust another person and to open your heart. Very difficult. When you was uh, young, you see your father broke uh, mm -hmm. his relation, mm -hmm. and you have a bad experience there, no? Yeah. And then, as I'll tell you, that go into the mind and possess you. Mm. Huh? And maybe you, you will feel you are trapped than something. It's a struggle. Struggle, no? Yeah, yeah. but I mean, um, when I wrote the previous books, it was, uh, you know, also a time of tremendous, like, kind of uh, isolation. In yes. certain respects, at forty years old, you you have to to need not only a writer; you need to have a human life, mm. not to save the humanity all the time. Mm. Eh? Eh, how many times in a week you give flowers to your girl? Mm. Probably more like once in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> what is the last time you give flowers to your woman? Uh, it was about uh, a month ago, three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, it's not bad, but it's no. not enough. Not enough. Not enough, uh, no? Good to know. <laughs> uh, a, and a, you, what's your answer to that? I, 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 I myself, because my woman is very young for me, uh -huh. and then I make an effort. <laughs> <laughs> I say to I don't only give flour, I give chocolate. <laughs> because she loves the chocolate, I give you a big box of chocolate. 